so this here is the cylinder the cylinder is what we will load with the condiments that will filtrate the water so there are different types some people use cylinders some other people use drums um, some other people use um, you know white tanks so different depending on the volume of water you want to filtrate all right that's that's what will affect the choice of your filtration chamber all right so here we have two sets of tanks because we're going to be filtering them with two different we have two different water qualities that we have tested for and we know what we need to correct so i would explain in another video how to know what to treat all right so um we have this and then we have this other cylinder all right so we'll be treating two different water parameters here and you can see some of the items we have gotten to use for our water treatment all right so these are some of the items we have gotten all right um, let me show you this one as well So um, once we start loading, I'll show you another video of us loading the cylinders because the cylinders are still empty right now. All right, they're still empty, and we'll load them, and then um, I'll explain how you can also do yours. All right. So once again, my name is Akin Fish. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's so much I'm ready to teach you. All right. So we haven't loaded it yet, but you can see uh, the pumping job that's been done. Um, this is a three in one light. I don't know if you can see this well, but hello everybody you're welcome once again to my youtube channel my name again is akin fish so i told you yesterday that i was going to show you how we are doing our water treatment for our archery all right so here you can, i showed you before we put the plumbing system in now i'm about to explain the plumbing system later i will get to explaining what we are going to load the water treatment with all right so now for the plumbing system water comes in through here all right and then goes in to the tank like this all right and then the water flows through purifies it as i said i will explain later the things we load inside the water treatment plant um, so the water goes in comes out from here then goes in here goes in goes into this one as well and then comes out here then goes to this last filtration system before it goes into the archery. So yes, I know you are wondering that why do we have all this other um, back um, plumbing setup? It's so that we can back wash the system. All right. So once you start filtering water and water starts coming in, um, sometimes you know the water gets um, clogged with a lot of sand and stone and the likes. And so you know you are loading in water through this system to clean it. We now send the water back the other way. So that's what we call backwashing, that we send the water back. All right, so you are backwashing the system. So we have two water filtration systems, uh, water treatment systems. We'll load them with completely different items, all right? So um, I'm going to explain some of the items we're going to load them with right now, all right? But let me show you the second one also so that you can use this as an example. So walk along with me. Yes, so you can see the second one here. Um, this, these cylinders, they are 22. There's the 20 inch diameter cylinder. There is the 22 inch diameter cylinder. There is the 25 inch diameter cylinder. And they all take different volumes of water. So this takes about 500 liters of water. And this takes 500 liters of water also. However, don't forget, 
we will load the chambers with items that we will use to filter our water. So we'll put those inside, and those ones will take space already, meaning that you will not really get 500 liter of water in here. However, when we are loading, we also will not load the chamber to the brim. So when we are loading, we will not load the chambers to the brim because the water must have enough presence to be able to push itself down through whatever you have loaded the chamber with to come out on the other side. All right, so we would leave when we load the chamber, which we'll load from here, all right, we'll load it from the top here and we'll seal it. You can see that we have um, the item to seal the machine with here. So we'll load it from here. Whatever we're loading it will be settling down, settling down, settling down, compacting, and then we'll probably get it somewhere around here so that water then comes in here, then the water pushes itself through here and then comes out through that place. It goes through the last filtration before it then goes into our hatchery. All right, so um, that is the setup of the water treatment plant. However, the real crux of water treatment for your hatchery is number one, testing your water. After you test your water, you will use, um, so there are different ways to test your water. You can test your water with pH, you're testing your water for chlorine, you're testing your water for hardness, you're testing your water for nitrates, you're testing your water for presence of iron. There are a lot of parameters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you like two, three test kits you can get for less than 20,000 naira. All right. Two, three test kits you can get for less than 20,000 naira that will help you know your water quality. So when you know your water quality, some people, they will just collect the water samples and send it to a lab. If you are based in Ogun State or you are based in Lagos State, Animal Care in Ogere, I mean, they give good results. They give very prompt results as regards water tests. However, I also advise that you get your own test strips because you will be needing it every time, all right? So once you test your water, you then know the things you will need to correct the parameters that you have found that are wavering. Do you understand? It is those things that will now load inside the chamber so that we will be correcting the water. Do you understand? So let me show you some of the items we have gotten to um, some of the items we have gotten to purify our water. So here we have calcium carbonate. We have calcium carbonate. So calcium carbonate is um, okay. Look at this. Okay. So can you please? This is calcium carbonate, all right? And um, calcium carbonate is just CaCO3, all right? If you went to secondary school like I did, it is CaCO3, and it's basically just sand, all right? Gravels, treated sand, all right? Treated sand, um, different dimensions. So we have two mm, we have three mm, we have four, we have two mm, we have three mm, we have four mm, different sizes. And then you put the biggest sizes first in the chamber, then you put the next size, and then you put the smallest size on top, all right? So this here is the four mm size. You can see these various sizes, all right? So now I'll just move you to the three mm, all right? This is the three mm size. You can see the different size. You can see it's smaller than the four mm size that you saw earlier. So after this three mm, we have the two mm. You can see the two mm size, great. And then after this, we have the 1 mm, which is the smallest in dimension, which is here. All right, so that's the smallest in dimension, that is. So that is um, the first level that we are loading in our water treatment. All right? So, yeah, the first level we are loading in our water treatment plant. Right, so water filters through all of this and comes out better. All right, so after the CaCO3, I'm going to take you inside now to show you some other materials that we have. All right? So we're going inside now. Good. So I was telling you about the thing about the things we will put in our water filter. And I've explained the calcium carbonate, which is the sand and um, stones that are graded in different sizes. So those will be the first thing we actually load in our in our water treatment plant. That's the cylinder I showed you that was outside. All right? After that. There are different things you put in your water treatment to make sure you treat the variables or the parameters that you want to correct. So some of those items are zinc, um, oyster shells, activated carbon, charcoal, 
hydrolyte, chlorine. These are all different items you use based on the water parameters that you have identified first to then treat those things. So if you notice that your water is hard, for instance, then just check what are the items you need to treat water hard to hardness of water. So that's a Google, Google a simple Google search for you. Um, if you notice that, you know, you, you probably want to put a UV light in your water treatment so that it can kill all the microbes and all the rags, all right? So here we have activated carbon. So you can see this. We have activated carbon. We are going to load our water treatment with this, all right? I'm going to load our water treatment with this. This is the filter you saw outside, all right? So you can see it is the three in one sterilizer and filter all in one all right so that is the last item that we have there so yes so um that is what we're going to be loading our whole water treatment plant with we also have charcoal outside that we're going to load our water treatment with and hydrolyte all right so um once again this is how to make sure that you are loading your water treatment properly all right so let's go back outside so that i can continue the conversation great so um as I said, I'm going to show you when we start loading the water treatment. However, I've explained to you the different items you will need to load your water treatment with. I've also explained to you that you won't load your water treatment from the top. You probably load it and leave space there so that the water builds up in here and then pushes its way down through the several layers of filtration elements that you have gathered. So we are going to use... Um, Calcium carbonate, which I told you is just a dignified word for sand. We're going to use that as the first base. And then we're also going to use activated carbon. We're going to use charcoal. We're going to use oyster shells. And then we're going to use um, chlorine. All right. So this is because we're trying to treat specific things in our water treatment. So don't do, don't do copy and paste. Don't do exactly what I am doing. All right, you have to take your own water test first and then know the items that you need to treat and that's what you now use to load your water treatment plant. So there are different treatment systems for different things. Um, this is for a artery, a fish artery. We have another one for a poultry nearby and you can be very sure that the things inside there are different from the things that will be inside here. All right, so I'll show you another video once we are loading the items. All right, once again, my name is Aki Fish. Cheers.